Today I'm going to be going over the most essential mods for The Sims 4 and when I say essential I mean essential. These mods are for everybody. Every single type of player on The Sims 4, no matter what kind of gameplay style you have, these mods are essential for you. In today's video, firstly, I'm going to be going over every single mod that I think is essential. Then right at the end of the video, I'm going to be going over how to install mods if you don't know how to install them. So don't worry, don't panic, just watch the video all the way through and you'll get that information. Without further ado, let's get started. First up on the list is the simulation lag fix mod. Now this mod basically, it does what it says on the tin, it fixes simulation lag. If you don't know what simulation lag is, basically it's where the game struggles to keep up with itself. Let me give you an example. Example. So whenever you're playing The Sims 4 and let's say you get your sim to cook and when you get them to cook You put it on the speed 3 setting to try and quickly rush through the animation because you don't really want to see that happening Really do you and at that point when your sims cooking you'll notice now and again They will stop cooking and they'll just stand over the counter like And then they'll get back to cooking as if nothing happened. And it's really, really strange. It just happens all the time with The Sims 4. Whenever you're playing the game, especially on the highest speed setting, your Sims will randomly just stop what they're doing and awkwardly bob their heads up and down. And that's called simulation lag. The game is struggling to keep up with the animation. It's struggling to keep up with the action. It's trying to notice and take care of too many things at the same time. And it basically breaks down. More evidence of this happening in your game is if you ever look in the bottom left of your screen, you'll see a green bar going around every single action which shows you how long the action is going to take. If that green bar ever just stops and it stops moving, that is evidence of a simulation lag. More evidence is if you put your game on the highest speed setting, yet the speed doesn't actually increase, it just stays the same, or sometimes you might even go backwards in time. It's a really, really annoying problem with The Sims 4. In fact, it's plagued pretty much every single Sims game, but don't worry, with this mod, it fixes it for you. I cannot believe that I used to play The Sims 4 without this mod. In fact, the first time I installed this mod, I noticed a huge difference with my game. Every single action sped up, whether that's cooking, cleaning, having a shower, literally everything sped up so much. And that is why this is probably one of the most essential mods that you can have for The Sims 4, especially if you have a lower end laptop or PC. Okay, yeah. next up on the list is MC Command Center. Now, I don't know what MC stands for, but basically it's like a control hub for The Sims 4. With MC Command Center, you can basically do any kind of cheat, change any options. You can basically do everything. One of the best things about this mod is the clean up features. Now, what I mean by clean up, it's not cleaning your house. I mean, cleaning up the game. Fundamentally, if you're playing a really, really long save file in The Sims 4, for example, you're doing a long legacy with a family. In addition to that, you have world story progression on, which means other townies and MCPs will age as well. The problem with that is the game basically gets clunked with so many different Sims that it starts to run down and it becomes a little strange. If you do play The Sims for a long time, you'll notice that eventually your relationships panel will be full of ghosts because what happens is every single Sim basically shares the exact same birthday. So you'll find that all of this adult Sims will die around the same time. And as a result of that, you'll just have all of these ghosts as friends in your friend list and it makes no sense. So what this mod does, it allows you to basically kill- What the f That sounds really sadistic, but it basically kills all of the ghosts out of your game just to make it a bit cleaner and make it run a little bit faster. This mod is also perfect if you really want to set your own career in the game. If you like careers, cheats, and you want to just shove your sims straight into a good career, you can use this mod to put them in a career at any level. It's so useful. In addition, you can use this mod to change what sims wear in your world. Have you ever seen like a really weirdly dressed townie in your game? I certainly have many, 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 many times. With this mod, you can change the way that they dress. You can actually blacklist certain clothing items so that they never wear them. In addition to that, you can change many other miscellaneous things like pregnancy. You can change the population size. You can change how much money you have. You can change how much your bills are. You can literally do so many random things with this mod. It's like the mother of all mods. It can basically do everything. Okay, so the next mod on my list is the eat and drink faster mod. This mod basically does exactly what it says on the tin. It allows your Sims to eat and drink faster. One of the most bittersweet features in The Sims 4 is a multitasking feature. Now, when they first released The Sims 4, they really, really pushed this as like a big, amazing feature. <laughs> 
like The Sims 4 because one of the biggest problems in previous Sims games is that your Sims couldn't multitask. For example, if you wanted to sit at the dinner table with your family and talk and eat at the same time, you couldn't. If you wanted your Sims to watch TV, eat and talk at the same time, you couldn't because Sims couldn't multitask. In The Sims 4, however, they have multitasking features, which means your Sims can do two, three, sometimes even four things at the exact same time, which is incredible. But it's also very, very annoying because it slows down certain interactions. For example, if you're trying to get your Sims to eat, then if they're talking to another Sim at the same time, then it really, really slows it down. And your Sim could honestly spend up to like four to five hours eating a meal. It's so ridiculous. So with this mod, your Sims will basically just eat and drink a lot faster. So number, th number three. I forgot. Oh, number four, okay. So number four on the list is more columns in create a sim. Now, if you don't know what I mean by that, basically whenever you enter the create a sim mode in your sims game, there are only two columns. Let me show you. So I've just opened up create a sim mode now. So as you can see, there are only two columns, which, you know, it's it's just so annoying. Like, especially if you have many, many packs, you can see there's just this long list of clothing. It's an infinite list. And it's a really, really big problem in the sims 4 because it just makes it so difficult to be able to find things. Oh my god, look at this. Two seconds later. As you can see now, it's extended to three columns. That is so much better. It's literally increased the amount of space I have by about 33%, which doesn't sound like much, but that's a lot. And just to let you guys know, there's actually a four column version and a five column version. The reason why I use a three column version is because my computer screen is not wide enough. If you have a standard laptop or computer, then you should get the three column mod. If you've got a wide screen, then you should get the four column mod. Mod. And if you have a super wide screen PC monitor, then you should get the five column mod, which really extends it out. And it makes it so much easier to be able to find things in create a sim mode. I'm sorry, I'm being like so unprofessional. <laughs> I'm just ramming this whilst I'm trying to record a video. I'm sorry, that is so unprofessional. Let me put this down till I finish. Anyway, guys, they are my four most essential mods for The Sims 4. I honestly think every single person who plays The Sims 4 could benefit from these mods. Therefore, I'm gonna put all of the links in the description below. So if you already know how to download and install mods in The Sims 4. This video is basically finished for you. The end. Goodbye. See you next time. Now, for those of you who do not know how to install mods, don't worry, we're gonna be going through that right now. It doesn't matter if you're a super, super beginner and you've never done it before, I'm gonna go through every single step with you. Firstly, before we can install the mods, we need to install a file unzipping program. If you don't know what that means, it's basically something that can unravel a compressed file and remove all of the contents out of that compressed file so that you can then put those files into your Sims 4 mods folder. One of the most popular programs to do this is called WinRAR, so if you don't have a program that can do this, just download a program like this one on screen here, and then that will set you up for having mods in The Sims 4. So step two is to download the mod. So just as an example, I'm gonna be downloading the MC Command Center mod. Don't worry, I know this website looks a bit CD and strange, but I promise it is not a virus. As you can see right at the top here, it says MC Command Center. It's the latest version, so you just click that and then it will download onto your computer. As you can see, it's downloading now. Now all you've gotta do is go into your downloads folder. As you can see, this is my MC command center file that I've just downloaded. Once you've done that, all you have to do is right click it and then click the option that says extract here. I actually can't show you for some reason. Whenever I right click, you can't see it. You just have to believe me. It's called extract here when you right click the file. And after I've done that, as you can see, it's come up with all of these different files here. I know it looks like a lot, but don't worry. All you have to do now then is copy those files. Go over to your documents folder, electronic arts, the Sims 4, and then paste those files into your mod folder like this and you're done. Now, if you have lots and lots of mods installed, it can become very, very long and tedious to have all these files in there. So to clean it up in there, you can put things into separate folders. For example, I could write MC command center and then I could put these all inside the MC command center folder, which will make this look a little bit cleaner. However, one warning for you is you cannot make anything more than one folder deep. As an example, if I make folder one, but then inside folder one, I create another folder called folder two and I put mods in here, they will not work. They can only be one folder deep. Therefore, don't try and make it too organized. Just make one folder deep and then it should be fine. And then once we've done that, all we've 
you've got to do is open up the Sims game. Now, once you've opened up the Sims game, you've got to go to options, game options, other, and right down here, you can say script mods allowed and enable custom content and mods. All you've got to do is tick both of these boxes. It will warn you that you basically have to restart your game, which is fine. All you've done after you've ticked both of these boxes is click apply changes, exit out of that, then exit your game. A few moments later. And now I've opened the game back up again. It comes up with this uh, notification, which shows you all of the custom content and mods that you have installed. Now this will show up every single time you restart your game. If you don't want it to show up, just untick this box here that says show at startup. Other than that, you just click okay, and then off you go. You go and play your game. It's that easy. So that was it. Now, just as a warning, every time the game has an update, especially a major update, sometimes mods will stop working. When that happens, basically every time the game updates, you may need to re-download the mods again. More often than not, most of these main kind of mods still work, but sometimes they do break your game. So if you have updated your game recently, because you know, EA have given a patch out or something, please update the mods too. Other than that, you're ready to go. It's that easy. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any suggestions of any other really key important mods that you think I should have mentioned that I didn't, let me know in the comment section below. I want to know. I'm curious. Other than that, thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you next time. If you're wondering what this is, by the way, it's called Dango. It tastes like, I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of like a glue stick, but it's like a sweet glue stick. It tastes nice in a weird way. It's from Japan. I live in Japan, by the way, if that's what you're wondering. <laughs>